Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to, um, how to, um, like, turn into any model, like any model you want, into a tool. So, let's get started. I know my mic sounds bad, because, like, this is, like, my computer mic, but it's whatever. So... <clears throat> I finally got my screen for my computer working. I kept watching YouTube videos, so I will start posting. Well, I won't start posting like a lot, but I will like post. I'll try to post more videos. So yeah, let's just get started. So first is you want to insert a tool into the workspace, and then you want to rename the tool as whatever whatever your um whatever your model is like whatever your food is so after you do that you want to grab the model and drag it into the tool then you want to ungroup it after you ungroup it that's a lot after you ungroup it you want to check for welds like if if it has welds then delete all the welds you don't need those Okay, so after you do like the welds, what you want to do is you want to drag the your food in or model whatever you have into like anywhere you want to put it. Then you want to insert a part. If you guys can see my screen. Let me check. Yep. Okay. So you don't want so you want to insert a part right here. You want to like put it like right there and you want to scale it like this but it has to be like touching it like that. the background um so after that you want to um you want to go to ex you want to go to properties and then you want to turn the transparency into one so you can't like see it and then Turn can collide off. So then you press it again. You press on model and then press on surface, then press smooth. And then you click on the click on the thing, the part that we just inserted. Anywhere. Wait, don't pick don't pick smooth, pick um inlets. Pick inlets. Okay, after you pick inlets, go to properties and you should see the this like surface thing. So go to front surface and look for the front surface. Once you look for the front surface, you want to rotate that the, you want to rotate the front surface facing the your object that you have. Then after you do that, you want to Go here, you want to select, you want to select a part, you want to, yeah, you want to select a part that's from the thing, so go down, so go to the tool, press this, and then you can select the thing, then press on model, and then go to create, and then press on weld. Then you want to go to Wait no, wait, 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 no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Uh, you want to press on the part that you um, um, inserted for the thing, and you want to name that handle. Name it handle for the tool. And you want to insert the handle into the thing. Now click. What is this? Okay, don't worry about that. Um, if you have a touch interest or anything in things, then delete that. So then you want to click on a thing, and then you want to press on weld. And then you want to press on the handle right here. Press on the handle, and there will be a weld constraint or whatever in the part that you had for your model. 
So then you want to do that for every single one. So keep putting, so select the thing and put, keep putting the well things in there. Um, until the, on, this might take a while because I, I don't know how to fast forward. So sorry. This might take a little while. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. I lost a couple subscribers because I haven't been posting a lot. So people unsubscribe for me, but that's all right. If you guys want more things like this, then I I'm not a scripter though. I'm just, I'm not a scripter. So I am trying to learn how to script. So I, when I learn how to script, then I will start posting videos about scripting this and scripting that. And I'll let you guys know, so subscribe to the channel to see when I post videos. And yeah, just keep doing this for every single one. And make sure that you select the handle. You select the part in the model. And then you press, you go to model, you press create, and then you press... And then you press weld and then just there should be like a red line or something a line and then you press on the handle and there should be a weld contained in there just saying it again just in case i'm gonna do this for every single one this is gonna take forever i don't know how to do it for more so i have to do it one at a time and this is gonna take a long time I kind of got this idea from this YouTuber. I, I forgot his name, but his, his um thing will be in, in the description below. Also, if you guys want to use this, um, if you guys want to use this model, then I'll leave that model in the link description below. If you guys want to use it. To like do this and stuff. Doing it. Well, uh, okay, we're almost done. Almost done. Come on. I'm so impatient, guys. But I have to do this for the video. <sighs> okay, we're oh, my bad. I did not mean to do that. Keep selecting the handle, but don't don't put one in the handle though. Don't put a weld in the handle because it's just gonna mess it up. I don't know what I don't know what's gonna do, but just don't put it in the handle because you're not supposed to put it in the handle. And then weld right there. So after you have all your weld con something in your um, parts, in all the parts, you want to drag the mac and uh, not the mac and cheese, whatever uh, your tool, into the starter pack. And then if you play the game, it should pop up in your inventory. Oh, oh, whoops. Hold on. I think... What's going on? Okay, wait. I think... I need to... Hold on. I think... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. So you need to select everything. Like, you need to select everything even the handle and turn off anchor and can't collide my i'm my bad sorry guys and then after you do that you want to drag it back in the starter pack and then if you play then it should be in the inventory like see okay yep there it is so i hope this I hope this video was very helpful for you guys, so if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.
Goodbye.